penalty side of the kicker and Ishibashi ahead and kicks it. End over end kick. Hall is about five yards deep. Hesitates and now comes out of there with it. To the 10. Breaks through to the 15. Hall of the 20. Outside 25. Breaks a tackle 30. 35. Cut back 40 and out of bounds across the 40 yard line. After he hesitated, he brought it back about 47. Force together. Casey Dunn snaps. Eli drops to throw. Looks. Looked in the flat. Nobody there. He's going to tuck it. Run. 50. Jenkins 45 and slides right at the 40. Up shotgun. Henderson a left half here. Stilly, short drop, sets, throws, got it outside. Bradshaw caught it, so Randall's got him. He caught it at the 45, and you're the tight end. So twins to the left, wide out to the right, Stilly to throw. And Jackson from the backside got him. Darius Jackson beat him off the snap count. 36, they take advantage. Now they go from an inverted wishbone. Snap to Stilly, and that was busted. They blew that from the get-go. Moss, who was in there on the... This drive started after a blocked field goal. They hand to Henderson, broke a tackle. Got hit once, twice, lost the ball. It's on the ground, still bouncing around. They battle for it. Coastal and Jacksonville State. The wide in the red. Robinson says, we've got it. But Steven Anthony the Johnson to the right. Jacksonville State, third and eight. Eli to throw, looking down the middle, fires. Oh, what a catch by A.J. Breaks a tackle at the 30. It goes down at the 35. He's 6'4", was a basketball. Just shy of first down yardage. Eli will pull it out. He'll ride it first down to the 50, to the 45 of Coastal Carolina. There. At a defensive end spot, Eli fakes, sprints left, looks to, oh, he's got a man open in the middle. Terry throws it down, caught it, it'll be a touchdown! DeMontez Terry beat the safety man. He turned Sampson Baldwin, the corner actually turned him around. We're very happy on that last play when they rolled the play out to the left and Eli stood in through a beautiful crossbody pass for a touchdown. Nate Kraft kicks off and kicks it about four yards deep. They hesitate, come out of there and it'll cost them on this occasion as the Gamecocks fly down the field. That is Justin Thomas. Th side. Check it, Jones the wide receiver to the far side. Quick pitch, run his toss sweep. Trying to get outside Abercrombie and never got it turned up field. Rashad Green, the scene still the safeties. Snap to Steely, he'll pull it out, trying to come to the corner on the option play. Moss got him and spun him around and slammed it. Wide out right, Curry the tight ends on the right side. Eli the snap, dumps it out. Rock caught it, 30. Thomas, 35, first down as he got hit. Knocked down at the 40. Fourth and a yard. The hand, Henderson, ball's free. Ball's free, still he's got it. He'll be tackled for a loss. At the Eli with Dantley Coker shifting as an H-back. He'll hand it to Rock, got a hole at left guard. Breaks it outside, 35 to the 40. Stiff-armed a man and barrels to the 40. At two, they get the snap. Bradley going to pull it out, keep it. Going to get to the corner on the option. He'll pitch it. Henderson had to reach back to catch it. That'll slow and bog down the play, and the Gamecocks will grab him at the 20. In at left tackle. Eli, the snap, pulls it out. Going to sprint to his right. Option runner throw going down the field. Barge has got it inside of midfield of the 40. Enders and Johnson, twins right side as the receivers. Eli gives to Josh. And Clemens drives, barrels, touchdown. Touchdown, Jacksonville State. They just couldn't get him down. A couple of guys hit him. He got a hold. Dead Abercrombie in there now as Henderson gets a rest, and he's going to throw it. Pressure coming. He got away. Darius Jackson reach couldn't get him. And, oh, what a tackle on the far Wide left. That's map. McCall got it. Got hit in the backfield and a loss. Back to the 37-yard. Wide left. Shotgun. Amazes me. You open from the gun here. It's your own fives. And a rock. Breaks tackles. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And shoved out of bounds right around. Twins left, a wide out to the right. Eli going to throw. Look for a short route. Now he's going to run it. He's going to go to the 35, to the 40, to the 45, to midfield, to their 45-yard line. Right, wide out to the left side. Snap Eli. Fakes to Clemens, rolls right. Going to look to throw. He's got Terry across the field by himself. Caught it at the five. Touchdown! Touchdown, Gamecocks. I don't know if that was the play or if he broke the pattern, but Eli rolled right. He was by himself again. And now they line up to go for two. They snap it to Abercrombie. He got hit, still fighting and pushing, and did not get there. The try for two is no good. here. They're threatening to come. They do come outside. Eli rolls left, looking to throw. He'll fire, and he got it to Spears, caught it, and I think he got a first down. At and here on third and ten, Eli the snap. Williamson coming after him. Now he's in trouble. Runs away once, runs away twice, and he's got some room to the 50, to the 45. Breaks a tackle at the 42 of the ball at there, 31. Eli fakes, keeps, steps inside the 30. Oh, what a move to get inside the 25. Bounces off a hit inside the Luke Smith lines up 
H back left side as he came in motion and stopped. Eli fakes, pulls it out to the corner. Eli to the 10, five, touchdown Jacksonville State. Eli to the house as he scores some 13 yards out. It was 6.44 to go. The game, Brown had caught a pass all day, called two. They fumble the snap on the exchange and the game cocks up, thank heaven. And it's Darius Jackson who got in the backfield and recovered it. Keen, low snap, got it set. Kick low and short, it won't make it. It's in the end zone, bounces through, touchback. Jacksonville State takes over <laughs> at this point in time. Eli, the snap, he'll give to Rock. Started in, darts back outside. Now he's going to try to come to the boundary. 35 40, up the sideline, 45 yard line. Snap to Keen. He's going to throw, got hit. It's going to be short, caught by Chris Jones. Got away from a tackle at the 35. He'll pitch it back to Mann, and he'll throw it to an alignment who got it. And he's down. They pick it up, and now, well, they're still throwing it around. Ball rolling free, and Jalen Hill, well, tried to dive on it, and that'll do it. That's the end of the game. One. Keen gets the snap. He's going to throw. He got hit and sacked. Darius Jackson got him to end it. So, you know, I, I don't know. We, we had chances in the game to get the gap, uh, put the game away, and we just didn't do that. But, you know, really the second FBS team we've played, I mean, they moved up to you know, 75 scholarships and uh, going into some pelt next year. You, you tell that really talented team there's not but, uh, you know, two other teams in the country that's won as many games as they've won the last four years, you know, and that's us in North Dakota State. So, uh, you know, they're a really quality program. Uh, a lot of players, you know, well coached, all those things. So I give credit to them. You know, our guys uh, – in some areas, we played really good. I thought we played really hard. You hold a team like that, they've not been held under 100 yards rushing in the past three seasons. Uh, we held them to 42 yards. Hold a back of, of his caliber, you know, uh, to, to 42 yards, pretty amazing by our defense. Now, you know, we did some things where we didn't play some smart football. We, we blew a coverage, uh, chalked them up one, uh, some things like in the special teams we got, to, you know, to get better at. You know, we didn't help a punter out anywhere, protection, so we got to do better there, not get a punt blocked. Uh, guy can't get a field goal blocked. So, it's, uh, you know, first half we had some th issues there. And uh, offensive, it's hard to say you play bad when you had 87 snaps for 534 yards against a, a talented, really FBS team. But you know, you get the ball in the red zone, uh, just can get enough touchdowns. You know, we'd have something shoot yourself in the foot, really, and you know, kill a drive and, and different things there. But really, for the most part, besides at the end, uh, you know, turn the ball over, we've done a good job not t turn the ball over and some things like that. But uh, overall, you got to be excited about that win. I told our guys going into the game, it's like a quarterfinal, semifinal matchup. After playing the game, feel strongly that it was that. You know, so this game's only going to make us grow. You know, come out of it pretty healthy. It was good to have 12 back out there running around catching balls. So, you know, that was a, that was a positive. He probably could have played second half, but we played him about as much as we wanted to today. And you tell him and Eli hadn't played uh, together in a while. We overthrew one to him. That's going to get better with, you know, practice time and things like that. So uh, I still see a lot of growth continuity-wise where a whole football team just getting used to playing with one another. And, you know, the things that we may have missed today are, are very correctable, you know, things. So just excited about this football team. Big, big win for us, you know, uh, when you look at that and what that does for us right now. You know, it just uh, makes us a lot better. And the discussions with the officials at the end. Interesting. You? <laughs> <laughs> never seen that happen before. I hope I never see it again. <laughs> no, no, not one. No, not when I'm involved with. I hope it's. Uh, I don't see it again. But any birdie whistle, uh, you know, the guys on our sideline. I, I vaguely heard the whistle. He was probably, I don't know, five. 10 feet from me, you know, and I heard a little peeps, I mean, barely, you know, but nobody on the field stopped. Um, you know, usually when you had an inverted whistle and the official that blows the whistle stops the play right there. You know, the play went on, you know, and, and so you think the game's over and then they give them one more snap. So, bizarre, bizarre. Be honest with you, I go back and look through up and make sure they're right. I mean, I, I don't I don't know, you know. So, I'm, I'm sure they are, you know. But uh, kind of a weird ending, you know. Well, could have got beat there. I mean, you know, they put a, anything happened one play. It happens all the time. Just happened, what was it, last weekend, the weekend four with Oklahoma State. And uh, so, just ask him about it. So, it's uh, – 
that was a big that was a big deal, you know. But uh, like I said, we just we got through it, we got sacked, and game's over. So it was a, it was a good thing. And really, game should have been over before then. I mean, I take full responsibility for that four minute offense. We probably shouldn't have thrown the ball there. Eli shouldn't turn the ball over. You know, we should have just ate it and uh, you know took the sack or got back to the line of scrimmage with the ball when the route wasn't there. We big thing is we were trying to pick up a first down. We wouldn't have to punt the ball to him. In the end the game with the ball in our hands. So coverage they've been giving us. We thought we had an easy throw and catch for a first down because we knew they were gonna, you know, stunt the box because that's what they had been doing. And uh, like I said, just got in a bad situation there. And I, I take responsibility for that really. Just can't put a football team in that situation, give them the ball back. And we, and we can't turn the ball over right there. You know, we should have ended the game then with the ball in our hand. And uh, we love to so today poor job of four minute offense and that's something you know we'll correct. You mentioned the defense. Talk about Darius in the fourth quarter. He, the game he does, and played really good. I, I thought our front seven just played tremendous. I mean, I, I really be honest with you, I don't think they could have played much better. You know, I mean, you, you forty, you hold a team of that caliber to forty-two yards rushing, and you virtually make them, you know, one-dimensional. And that's what we try like to try to make uh, folks do. You know, we're gonna get extra hats to the box and. Make you have to throw the football to beat us, and uh, you know we did a great job of that today. But Darius and that whole front seven, I thought, played physical. Uh, I thought we dominated the line of scrimmage up front, and it made it about impossible for them to run the ball. And they rocked for you. you know, did yeah, did a great. I think what he have 144 yards. Uh, and I had one play where he lost yard, nine yards or a couple. Uh, so 25, 25 carries. Um, you know, 144 yards. So it was uh, a good day for him. I think the continuity between him and Eli and our offensive line are, are getting better. You know, as as we go too. But uh, and he's banged up. He he played hard. Him and Josh Clements both. You know, and Josh is still. Oh, Josh had a really good day, but he's still nursing a, a pulled hamstring. You know, so he's not a full speed guy right now. So when Rock played with a. You know, pretty much a separated shoulder. He had a grade two at the end of the LSU game, and uh, you know, really amazing that he played. You know, today, but about Wednesday, Thursday, he was doing a lot better, and kind of banged it a little bit the first half. But he had you know, played tough. I mean, he come back and, and finished the game, and had a had a good second half. He wouldn't know he had a hurt shoulder. Fourth quarter drive was really really pretty. I mean, you talk about all the mistakes you had, but that was almost like that drive as well as you clicked all year. Just what, what do you recall about that drive? Well, I think that drive uh, really helps your football team, helps you offensively. When, when you're in a game, because you now there's going to be other points in times, whether it be you know next week conference play, playoffs, where you know, your offense has you know got to go score to win a game. You know, so it's good for them to be in that position, uh, have their back against the wall. Have to you know play poised and make plays, but it was a great drive. How many plays that drive was? It had been around 10, 10 plus, but it was it really was well well executed. So it was 11, 11, uh, 11 plays on that that drive. So it was it was uh, it was a drive that was really really good, and and they they won it. You know, offensive line they did a good job in protection and running the ball. I thought Rock ran it real well and made some catches. Eli made some great runs on that drive. So a lot a lot of good plays with. Uh, you know, basically a game on the line. And really, I thought what helped is 11 plays, and we ran a lot of the clock off. Tons of clock. I ate up most of the full quarter with that drive, you know. And so there's always going to be a time where one side of the ball, one phase of the game, you've got to win the game for you. You know, defense, you got to get a stop. And it was this team effort today. I, I thought, uh, you know, we, we just played well in a lot of areas. You know, even, even as, you know, getting a punt block and getting a field goal block, it was some plays in the kicking game that I thought we made that were pretty good, you know, that, that helped us.